Use a dub, I'ma win, I won't lose with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, yeah, I'ma act a fool with this. Ay, I'm uh, turn the knob, can't resist, I'm incredible. Yeah, can't put a dollars, call it basketball. Uh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me broke? Ooh, can I get the dash? Can I catch me woke? Uh, your whole team is no competition. Boy, I did it by myself, it's a solo mission. Made it loud and clear. Put the gas on them like I'm with the Cavalier. It is a part of the country that could definitely use the rain, but it's also going to make for a very wet track tonight here at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the New Orleans Saints and the San Francisco 49ers. These teams about to reach the halfway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line, so bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. And what is this? They're lining up here to punt on first down. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Officially, that'll be a 63-yard punt. Well done. And the Saints will take over with a first and 10 deep in their own territory. He's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. That first down play, all you want to do is wedge out any type of space and try and create enough room. If you have to run the punter out there, he can successfully complete the punt. Yeah, didn't get a ton there, but at least some positive yardage. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Into the end 
zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Well, we, we thought these two defenses, they might come to play. One has already come to play here, a safety for the opening points of the game. Brandon, let's foul this play away because if it turns out to be a tight game, who knows? This could wind up being the difference. Adam Benatieri set to kick off. So a free kick situation forthcoming from the 20 as they'll punt this one away. Forget the idea of flipping the field. They have now put themselves in a position to score points with that big-time return. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. First down, Saints. here losing yardage to the 14 two yards the loss second and 12 nice play right there to stop him behind the line but i want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half yeah we know you know better than i he has the ability to take over a game so what do you do yeah i think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. To it's a gain four. of five, and Four's they're going to have a third down. And this is third down. <laughs> They'll look to throw. And he's got him. It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Demetrius Harris. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints have taken the lead. Adam now Adam Vinatieri for the point after. Footing likely going to be an issue all night here on a rainy night, but this one is good. 49ers 2. Adam Vinatieri set to kick off. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. At their own 26-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Uh, I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one.
On second down, here's Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. Looking for Pettis, but that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And he'll take this all the way down inside the 40. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. When they took the shot downfield, they were more than prepared for that one. And now the 49ers signal for a timeout defensively. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Back to throw here. He'll get that complete to the tight end, Harris. Yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. A gain of nine. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. to his right and he fires one that's intercepted picked off at the 11 and he brings it back to right around the 26 yard line a young quarterback Charles rolling to his right I know he's right handed but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket I think so but you have to remember with young quarterbacks it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. And to give this time to the tailback. He takes this for three to the 29. Number 34. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Watch the twist, watch the twist. Mike 52, Mike 52. Watch the run, watch the run. Hey, hey, we're blocked. We're blocked. 52. From the 29, Jackson flushed to his right. That is incomplete. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Operating from the gun, Jackson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. Now a handoff looking right, and he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. The 49ers with the football here to begin the second quarter as they are looking at a second down and six coming up. From the gun, Jackson. Looking left side, and it's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 34-yard line. A good pick up there, 26 yards. The 
this offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now it's Jackson. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. 49ers with their first trip to the red zone thus far. It's first and 10 at the 14. Now it's Jackson. That is caught by Cohen. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. At the Saints, 15-yard line. That pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. Jackson will throw again. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off inside the five. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they've thrown an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. And he'll give it here to his running back. And that closed up quickly there as he gets it up only to about the 17. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Up second and nine at the 17-yard line. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Third down. field complete yeah that's not going to get it done he'll come up well short of the first at about the 21 three yards all they could muster there and it'll bring up fourth down so they're going to come to the line here and it appears try to go for it on fourth they'll try and throw for it here he rifles one that's intercepted Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And into the end zone, they pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. So they go on fourth down. Not only do they not get it, it turns into six points the other way. Disastrous. And many people think you should just go ahead and knock it down in that situation. Turn it over for the offense. But I had a defensive coordinator recently tell me, we see that as a passive play. We don't do that anymore. We want the ball in our hands, and we want to head the other way. It's probably also instinct a lot of times. If you see a lot of green grass ahead of you, go ahead and grab it. It's the exact right play to do. That's knowing when to break the rules and when to make a play that maybe you hadn't been taught. Mitch Wisnowski to kick off for San Francisco. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded inside the five. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. At their own 29-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. 
Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Coming up in a couple of minutes, we'll get you to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. The coach will have stats and scores from earlier today in the NFL. He'll have a first down past the 40. He's got the lane, and there he goes. Touchdown, New Orleans. New Orleans. A great effort there with touchdown number 12 on the year. And once again, the Saints are back out in front. And those are the highlight reel runs you dream of right there. When he gets a seam and just gets through it, how about the explosiveness, the burst to get there to begin with, and then once he's in full gallop, good luck trying to track him down. And those plays so demoralizing for the defense. Absolutely, because you've done so much work trying to keep people in front of you. When they're past you and behind you, that's a tough one to swallow. Adam Vinatieri set to kick off. And here's Vinatieri now to kick it away after the touchdown. The Niners take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they had a nice little drive going last time through the interception in the red zone. Costly. Bad enough to throw it anywhere, but that drives coaches insane when they're thinking about, hey, we've got a shot at points already. We're already in a spot where you're thinking you've got three on the board for sure and to come over with nothing. Oh, that's a real tough one for them to swallow. Yeah, will they make up for it? A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and a yard. Jackson looking for his running back, and he's got it. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A gain of 13. It's a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Now Jackson on first down. Brought in here by Tyler Eifert. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, and he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. Jackson. And that will be incomplete. So after three drives and three touchdowns combined between these two clubs, finally we get a defensive stop. Yes, and welcome to the party, defensive players. And glad to have you because for a while there, it almost felt like it was 11 going downfield on air. 
Okay, so to be able to have someone come up, make a stop, now we've got a football game going. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They'll indeed go for it with Jackson. And he comes back with one complete. And he's got this down to the 35. 17 yards on the pickup. And they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. So we have reached halftime in what's a six-point game at the break. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Thank you. 